Okay. okay. No, it's fine. All right, I'll start, but unfortunately uh, today I think I have uh, network, pro network problems. So uh, if uh, any, um, any word was broken up, please inform me somehow in uh, Telegram or so. Again, I will try. And uh, Menina, uh, you can also uh, turn off your, uh, I mean, VPN and uh, it might be better. Uh -huh. Yes, it's, uh, it's turned on. It's not oh. if, you know, previously I turned it on. And if you can uh, expand your escape, it would be fine. Because now it's... Uh, sorry? And uh, for the power button, I mean, if you can... Uh, yeah, okay? exactly. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Yep. Okay, uh, well, today I'm going to talk about, uh, you know, nature publication uh, um, uh, article uh, which was uh, done uh, on the supervision of uh, Professor David Mooney um, and uh, well let's have an introduction about him uh, well he's uh, you know very uh, he's a pioneer person in uh, immuno, immuno engineering and tissue engineering and in his lab uh, you know scientists are trying to um, progress uh, new uh, you know better uh, ways to treat um, treat the diseases uh, with biomaterials you know actually it is uh, the combination of tissue engineering and immunoengineering and you know it is very interesting for me I, I hope it's very interesting for you too uh, as you know as you can see he has a very high H index of 154 and he's um, you know um, at the time presently he is in Harvard MIT and Michigan University a professor I mean there well uh, okay uh, but, uh, you know, uh, before um, going to, before, uh, you know, uh, talking about that uh, article, uh, I first want to talk about this one, uh, which, uh, you know, in the article, I'm going to talk about it. Uh, the writers uh, referred us first to this uh, um, article which is again a nature communication um, or you know uh, in nature uh, publication uh, today i'm going to talk about uh, a very interesting uh, way of uh, treating or uh, preventing cancer uh, maybe it's soon to say uh, to talk like this but uh, it is a very prospective um, you know way or very prospective researchers there are uh, very pro prospective researchers researchers in this field and uh, that the scientists are trying to make some vaccines uh, for uh, cancer. Um, here, uh, there is a, in this article uh, talks about an injectable cryogel-based cool cell cancer vaccine. Now, why vaccine? Um, you know, uh, Recently, uh, scientists have found that uh, our immune system, uh, you know, har by harnessing our immune system, we can uh, overcome many diseases. Uh, for example, uh, there were uh, the, uh, many efforts uh, in this, um, you know, major uh, in this way was done. Uh, for example, uh, by a mixture of bacterials, by using co-stimulatory. Um, T cells, or for example, um, the one we all know about it uh, is uh, uh, cell therapy. And uh, another recent one is cancer vaccine. And uh, um, more, when uh, the um, FDA approved a, a cancer vaccine, um, a lot of researchers and researchers and uh, you know. Um, clinical trials are done uh, on, you know, finding or approving another uh, cancer vaccine. So uh, he here today we are going to talk about a cancer vaccine based on biomaterials. Now in this article, uh, what I want you to pay attention is that um, here uh, the vaccine uh, is actually uh, a whole tumor cell vaccine platform. You know, um, 
the these scientists used a um, whole tumor cell as an antigen for this uh, vaccine. Uh, in our, uh, you know, in the article I'm gonna talk about, uh, cryogel, um, the bi biomaterial is the same, uh, only there are a little changes in it, but uh, the cancer cells are changed, and I'm gonna talk about it later. Okay, uh, uh, what is, uh, uh, you know, uh, an effective uh, cancer must be, ca and, sorry, an effective uh, cancer vaccine must be capable of uh, stimulating immune response, responses must be, uh, you know, but must be able to bypass the um, ways that tumor cells protect themselves against um, cytotoxic T cells or um, against um, antibody, antibody Bodies. Uh, and um, you know a key challenging um, point in uh, designing a cancer vaccine is that um, it must not you know it must not uh, trigger inflammatory systemic inflammatory and uh, it must be able to um, make um, you know uh, an immune response at the same time uh, this immune response must be able to uh, sustain for a, for example, period of time, and it must not uh, trigger systematic inflammatory. Okay, uh, as you can see here, um, they used, uh, if you can see the cursor, uh, they used uh, metacrylated uh, alginate, uh, alginate and um, CPG, um, you know, um, oligodendrocy oligonucleotide nucleotides, and uh, they made a um, spongy form um, biomaterial, and then uh, they um, added. Um, two more cells to eat, uh, to eat and use it, of course, um, uh, dead two more cells and use it as a uh, vaccine. Uh, but now let's go to uh, the article we're gonna talk about. Uh, this biomaterial, you know, this vaccine um, is based on, uh, let me, it's based on, um, uh, you know, um, um, uh, sorry, this vaccine is uh, for treat, you know, pre protecting or treating uh, my, um, acute my myeloid uh, leukemia or AML. Uh, if you want to know about AML, uh, it is a um, malignancy or cancer of um, hematopoietic stem cells or progenitor cells, uh, and it has uh, unfortunately poor prognosis. Uh, less than maybe five years for 30 percent and uh, the standard treatment of uh, AML is using uh, chemotherapy uh, by a combination of, by a combination of two drugs but this um, treatment uh, hasn't changed for 40 years and uh, although uh, it's it is you know um, it has, uh, you know, effects, uh, it works, uh, and it reduces the cancer cells. Um, finally, uh, the, they can, again, uh, the, you know, the population of cancer cells, again, can increase. So uh, scientists are working on, a, uh, on making a combination of uh, treatment to uh, completely overcome this um, AML cancer. Uh, and uh, one of the things uh, in this cancer, uh, one of the problems is that uh, the cancer cells uh, are, um, you know, low mutational load. They have low mutational loads. Uh, so, um, so they are not very, you know, changed, completely changed, or uh, their mor morphology isn't completely changed. So, so they can, um, you know, skip uh, from the immune system. Uh, okay. Uh, about um, AML vaccination, uh, of course, before this uh, article, there were uh, some trial and tries to make uh, new vaccines uh, for this disease. Uh, they used a single agent, they used multiple, multiple agents, for example, like GMCSF or um, dendritic cells uh, based vaccination. Uh, 
um, here, uh, the you know the sign in this uh, article, the um, uh, authors uh, the author used um, one of the antigens uh, which is associated with um, AML. And uh, you know, 90% of the cells uh, will um, have this antigen on them, and it is uh, Wilms uh, tumor protein one. Uh, a well, as you can see, a well uh, characterized intracellular zinc finger transcription factor. Okay, what is cryo though? Um, this biomaterial that they have used. Um, but let me uh, tell you something here. Um, maybe, uh, maybe you ask yourself why uh, they are using this biomaterial uh, for um, vaccine, for ma making a vaccine. You know, um, before in previous works, uh, uh, scientists used cells. For example, these cells uh, were injected to the body. Uh, of course. Uh, dead cells uh, with, anti with antigens only were injected to the body, but you know, they, um, they won't uh, stay there in the body for a long time. And um, although uh, they were uh, some protections against them, but these protections uh, were not, um, you know, uh, were not very strong enough. So um, it, they, they couldn't work as, uh, you know, real vaccines. So uh, these, uh, you know, the authors of this uh, article, they say that uh, we use this biomaterial so that we gave, so that we can give a place uh, for um, to the cells. For example, here they are they are dendrit dendritic cells. We can uh, give them a place that they can uh, come into the biomaterial. Uh, they face the antigen. They can stay there and they can uh, be become mature and then uh, present these um, you know antigens to uh, T cytotoxic uh, cells and you know make a better um, make a better answer, you know, uh, against the, make a better protection against the um, cancer cells. So here, as you can see, uh, the biomaterial is um, composed of uh, polyethylene glycol and uh, alginate. They both are metacrylated. And uh, um, so, um, be, you know, before uh, cryopolymerization, -poly which is the um, step uh, to make uh, this um, scaffold uh, as a mesh, before it, uh, they uh, add um, some adjuvants uh, like, um, for example, this peptide here, peptide here, uh, this peptide here means uh, that uh, WT1 antigen. Um, and they make GMC, they add GMCSF, it's a um, growth factor for um, cells, uh, you know, for dendritic cells and helps them to mature. And uh, this, uh, CPG as an adjoint. Uh, they add them uh, and then uh, cryopolymerize the uh, biomaterial and then uh, makes a um, microporous hydrogel out of it. And here I uh, just wanted to um, say that this microporous, micro, uh, why? Uh, um, because in the previous uh, work uh, that I have uh, shown it to you. Uh, they tried uh, nanoporous hydrogel and besides macroporous hydrogel, and they uh, realized that these macroporous hydrogels uh, work better. And then they uh, injected subcutaneously to the um, mouse. Uh, as you can see, one milligram of GMCSF uh, and 100 micrograms of um, uh, CPG. Oh yeah. And here, uh, okay, here, uh -huh. here uh, they say that, um, you know, in this article, they uh, used uh, 
two um, you know uh, two kinds of um, antigen one of them is that they use the peptide form as you can see here they on, the only uh, peptide part of the um, antigen and the other uh, is that they use a cell lysis uh, of uh, cancer cells and then they compare the uh, results and you can uh, see in it in the uh, later um, slides. Uh, okay, as you can see, the encapsulation efficiency is actually very high for GMCSF or oligo, uh, then uh, oligonucleotide and uh, cell lysed encapsulation or W3, that's what I uh, talked about. And uh, then they measured this uh, encapsulation by these uh, methods I uh, said here. Uh, okay, uh, you know, the um, results were very, you know, uh, significantly um, interesting. You know, significantly, uh, there were a significant change and uh, difference between uh, these vaccines. For example, you can say here, uh, you can see here that they uh, injected blank cryogel and vaccine cryogel. And a cryogel which has vaccine, another which doesn't. Uh, which doesn't have vaccine. Uh, and you can see that the total cells in that biomaterial after days uh, are um, increasing and there is a very dramatic change, a dramatic uh, difference between these uh, two uh, uh, cryogels. Uh, in, uh, in, uh, in this uh, bar, uh, you know, uh, in these bars you can see that uh, Mm, a cryogel vaccine uh, cell composition is, uh, you know, completely different from the uh, blank cryogel. As you can see, uh, CD11 uh, Cs are, you know, here um, much mm, more, uh, you know, their, their number, the number of these cells are um, uh, a lot more than the other one, and, uh, and also uh, B220 plus. Okay, um, you know, uh, they, in this article, uh, in this research, uh, they used uh, this vaccine uh, for both uh, prophylactic and, um, you know, as a cure or as a treatment for the uh, AML. Uh, here, uh, you can see um, prophylactic uh, administration of um, cryogel vaccine, um, and you can see the um, um, uh, WT uh, plus, you know, uh, positive uh, CD8 and interferon gamma CD8. Um, you can see that the number of the uh, here also you can see um, cryogel vaccine and cryogel vaccine. One of them uh, has lysed, and the other one has the peptide. And both uh, they both show a very significant um, amount of cells uh, as prophylactic and administration. You know, uh, they inject it uh, to the um, mouse and then they inject uh, some uh, AML uh, positive cells uh, into, um, you know, here you can see it. They challenged uh, the cells and the mouses uh, one twice um, by the different, uh, you know, uh, by 10, uh, 100 days interval between them. And um, the percentage of sur survival you can see here uh, is, mm, you know, very, you know, completely they uh, survived uh, if we want to um, compare them to the others. And here uh, you can see that the, the cancerous cells uh, are GFP positive. And uh, in these mouses, uh, the bone marrow cells are vaccinated and rechallenged um, mice and doesn't uh, show, didn't show any um, cancerous uh, cells, you know, cancer positive cells. Um, you know, they even, uh, 
challenged uh, the mice twice and you know i think uh, the results are very uh, interesting mesmerizing uh, now what is the advantage of uh, this um, you know vaccine uh, they say that um, because uh, we have some biomaterial as i said before uh, the presence of the wt1 is sustained is uh, you know it remains uh, for a long longer time so that dendritic cells can take up the antigen and display it to the um, display it to the T cells. Uh, another advantage is that um, the, the T cells, which are specific uh, for this, um, you know, antigen for the WT1 antigen, uh, are uh, the you know the number of cells in the bone marrow in the spleen and uh, in the um, peripheral blood are really increased it shows it shows uh, you know uh, how this um, uh, can, um, vaccine works uh, well and in conclusion uh, they say that uh, this vaccine is very well tolerated and promotes uh, promotes uh, aml uh, you know um, rejection uh, because as you can you saw uh, they were there were two challenges and i can't remember uh, exactly how many cells they uh, injected but uh, they rejected the mouses rejected the cancer cells uh, and um, the vaccine um, is single dose and it also uh, they uh, said that it doesn't uh, promote autoimmunity um, autoimmune, for example, diseases or autoimmunity. Uh, okay, here uh, uh, it says that, um, uh, it's uh, what I have uh, said before. Uh, it says that they are uh, specially, special, you know, kind of uh, T cells uh, that are exactly for that uh, antigen. Antigen, and they uh, increase the number of them increase, and it is one of the positive points of the um, vaccine. Uh, okay, uh, you know, uh, they also um, used uh, this vaccine in combination with chemotherapy. And, uh, you know, as you can see here, uh, the results are very, uh, you know, are perfect, really. And uh, they, uh, you know, uh, they somehow increased the survival of the mouses. Uh, in compared to the no treatment. So uh, the writer says that uh, it would be, uh, you know, in future, we can, if we, um, we can use uh, the combination of uh, chemotherapy uh, with these vaccines, uh, maybe we can um, reduce the dose of chemotherapy drugs, or uh, we can, uh, for example, uh, use it, uh, these vaccines alone as uh, prophylactic or uh, for treatment of the disease. Okay, finished. Any questions?